Oh, well, he's interviewed some of the biggest names in sports over the last decade, from Michael Jordan to Kobe Bryant and Sidney Crosby. He's a host of Cabby Presents on TSN, and he also hosts his own popular podcast. Cabby Richards joins us now. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. I would be sitting a lot closer just to make you, you know, get in your space a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I but, don't mind that. But you're not well. You're not 100. percent No, so. I'm not about 60. percent But you're you're welcome to like sit right here yeah, and be like, yes, hey, what's be right, up? Yes, yeah. Hey, I, see, so now I me. feel comfortable. I don't know how you feel, oh, but I feel th great. This is your zone. <laughs> This is how you like to do your interviews. I know. 100%. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I also, because you like to give people gifts, oh. um, I have a gift for you. What? Um, yep. Yeah. So that's either. Is this from Star Wars? No. It's it's a CP24 breakfast exclusive. What is? Um, so what you do is give that to any of your athlete guests to put on their face in case you get really close, right? This is so dope. Yeah. I actually get to keep this? Sure, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I have to ask if it's okay, but yes. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you very you're, much. Yeah, I think like, I'm, I'm excited about this. Yeah, and maybe you should put it on because you're... <laughs> You're Wear also sick. It. No, no, don't worry. No, 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 no. I need you to speak. Okay. Yeah, but later, okay. for sure. Okay, let's talk a little bit first and foremost why you're here because you're hosting a wonderful yes. charity event tonight. It's its third annual. It's called Cover Me Urban. It is. Uh, tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's at 99 Sudbury and it, um, it goes to support uh, the 1,000, over 1,000 youth that don't have a place to live. So it's this residence called Youth Without. Uh, shelter. It's in uh, it's in Rexdale, and this is one of their big fundraisers. They have like two or three a year, and um, you know it was sold out last year. Hope it, there's still a few tickets left this year, but it's close to sold out. And you know last year they raised 100 grand, so hopefully they'll surpass that this year. It's so cool when I just uh, hear about the concept. They're basically transforming 99 Sudbury yeah. into the streets of Toronto with all its diversity. Yeah, there's, so they have like different neighborhoods. So there's like Little India, there's like Little Italy. There, I believe it's 15 different uh, installations. Relations of various neighborhoods, and then there's the food. So you know, obviously, you know, we live here, so there's so much diversity in our food options. So there's, I believe, another dozen or, or so vendors, food vendors. We can get Mexican, you get Italian, Greek, Caribbean, all that, all that stuff. So be, it, there's a lot of, a lot of things going on in this one space. Hopefully, people will get their tickets and whatever's left of that. Yes. Um, I want to just ask you while we have you here, you must just absolutely love your job. You get to do <laughs> so many fun things. It's pretty fun. But I gotta ask you. So you obviously have a relationship with some athletes like Kobe Bryant for for example Kathy right. and Kobe right yes you have a relationship what happens when you don't have a relationship oh yeah you play along still? well no some people don't like it like mm. uh, LeBron James doesn't really like it uh, really he's, no he's just not a fan like he, he in his I can't I can imagine what his inner monologue sounds like and the language is not clean <laughs> when, when I approach him or whatnot but yeah some guys don't like I've been very fortunate that most athletes they don't mind it some enjoy it because it's just um, a little bit different than what they they get normally from like beat writers or uh, you know the your traditional reporters. So uh, LeBron's one guy that comes off the top of my head that doesn't enjoy it. So when you go into an interview, how much of it is planned and how much of it is improv? There's um, I go in with a couple of questions. So there's like I have sort of like a map, but then where we go, I'll kind of. I'll follow their lead. I, I like to I like to freestyle, so mm. I'll have a couple questions, and I'll just see like if, depending on their answer, I'll go this way or that way, or just keep going with what I have planned. But generally, there's a, there's a couple of questions. There's an idea, and then there's a lot of ad lib. Well, you're fantastic at Thank what you, you do. Much, you make it look so that. easy, and I know it's not. Um, Thank you. Cabby presents every Friday on TSN. Thank you very much. Don't forget to watch, and good luck with the charity event tonight. Thank you very much. Okay, you want to try it on? This is this is like the dopest thing go I've ever it. gotten. Go for it. Oh wait, it's way too small for your face. Oh. I've, I have it's a good. large head. It's good. I it's can't good. believe I'm doing this. <laughs> it's a good look. We'll be right back. You're watching CB24 Breakfast. <laughs> this is awesome, actually. Is that right?